Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you a follow-up video to my previous one in which I'm trying to paint a manga background with just black ink. I was not really satisfied with the results of that test. I thought that the resulting image looked a lot like a photo that was then post-processed in Photoshop to look like a watercolor painting and especially when I put a lot of the raster effects that will be used in the end to represent the greys in the standard black and white print in which Japanese comics are printed. The background looked like a processed photo even more. So I started to wonder what to do to make the background's painting style more comic-like to make it fit the characters better and to fix this photo-like problem without giving up on my painting style and on all the details. For now I decided that I'll try to make the line art, so I'll try to make a version of the background with the line art. And I'm using here a Faber-Castell multiliner to do the lines because it's waterproof, so after I erase the pencil I can go in with the ink without having to worry that I'll damage the line work. Ok, the lines looked good, but in the end I decided to redraw them using my Lamy fountain pen and the Souboku ink. Sadly, I didn't film this part, but the lines looked really similar. Because the background will be black and white in the end either way, I decided to test the blue-black waterproof Souboku ink here also for all the shading. With a waterproof ink like this one, I don't have to worry about the order of painting things, so I don't have to necessarily start from the lightest parts and continue from there to the darkest ones like with watercolors. I can paint from whatever part I want and I can layer the ink without damaging the layers that I already done. This allows me to have more control on what I'm doing and also makes simplifying the scene a lot easier. I can paint various parts of the picture using the same ink that I already have on my brush, which is really hard to do with watercolors or not waterproof medium like a not waterproof ink, because you have to follow the order of painting not to disturb darker elements that are already there. I had a lot of fun painting with the waterproof ink like this, it was actually refreshing compared to watercolors or not waterproof ink. And I think that for a background like this it's kind of ideal because it allows for this creative freedom but also because it's blue and not completely black it allows the line work to stand out a bit more.
Okay, so after the background painting part was finished, I needed to scan it and make it look like black and white ink background and test the characters and sound effects that Kana made to test how it would look like in a real comic. Okay, so here is a comparison of the simply cleaned up scan of the blue version and the version after it's been made to look like a comic. So I added the characters and the sound effects and the frames. And I also wanted to show you how the new version compares to the old one that I did in the previous video. So you have the old version on the left and the new version featuring the line work and more simplified shapes on the right. I personally think that the right version, the new one, looks better and more consistent with the characters so I'm pleased with the result. I'm still not sure about this style though, so I think I'll be doing more tests making the background even more simple. Maybe I'll use only 4 shades of the grey, I'll just have to test it and see. Ok, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. As always feel free to comment, share and subscribe and you can also support me on Patreon. Your support there allows me to focus on my personal projects like this one. Ok, see you in the next video. Bye!